Hello, my name is Ahmad Sajari from UC Irvine. Uh, we would like to thank the organizers for the opportunity to present our work on the associations of the two important pathologies of the oldest old with neuropsychological and clinical measures. The authors have nothing to disclose. As a brief background, and as we know, late and Alzheimer's are both prevalent pathologies in the oldest old and both considered to be associated with an amnestic syndrome. However, their unique associations with other cognitive uh, domains uh, has uh, not been studied adequately. And that was the goal of this research to examine longitudinal change in clinical and neuropsychological outcomes in relation to these important uh, pathologies. We studied participants in the 90 plus study who undergo regular clinical and neuropsychological assessments every six months. We had 323 participants who had these assessments and then came to autopsy. Late uh, pathology was considered present in those who had TDP43 pathology in hippocampus or neocortex and Alzheimer's disease was considered present in those who fulfilled high likelihood of NIAAA uh, guidelines in relation to Alzheimer's disease. Um, to study various uh, neuropsychological measures with various score ranges, we standardized these uh, test scores and ran uh, linear mixed effect models with neuropsychological and clinical measures as outcome, adjusting for um, sex, education, age at testing, and age at death. To uh, share the demographics of the cohort, this was a predominantly female sample in accordance with the oldest old demographics. They were highly educated and as expected, both pathologies were more prevalent in those with dementia. And we had a subset of participants who had both uh, pathologies. This slide represents our main results. And here we uh, depict uh, Alzheimer's disease neuropathology with a continuous line and TDP43 or late with uh, dashed lines and red color denotes uh, significant associations with the outcomes uh, that are represented here. So what we found was unique associations of TDP43 or late with our global cognitive measures, as well as our measure of orientation and a unique association between Alzheimer's disease neuropathology and trail B time, which was our measure of executive function. Additionally, we found that both pathologies were significantly associated with our measure of memory function, our measure of language function, and our measure of attention and concentration. And importantly, we found uh, only TDP43 pathology was significantly associated with our clinical dementia rating some of the boxes scores. So what we found was that late neuropathology was prevalent in the oldest goal, being present in 42% of those who died with dementia. We found there were distinct associations between late and uh, various neuropsychological and our clinical measures. And we found executive function was only associated with Alzheimer's disease neuropathology, but not late. CDR, some of the boxes, which is a commonly used uh, clinical uh, measure these days in relation to cognitive decline in dementia, was only associated with late neuropathology. So in conclusion, we found that uh, late neuropathologic change is an important pathology in the oldest old, and we think that we have identified potential distinct patterns of decline that might aid the prediction of late um, during life. This only leaves me to acknowledge the contribution of my colleagues, especially those from the 90 plus study, but also the members of my own lab to this work and also acknowledging NIA for funding our research. And I thank you for your attention.